We bless the name of the Lord for this wonderful day. It's the day the Lord has made and we'll rejoice and be glad in it. I welcome you to today's telecast of the Hope on Heaven's Reflection. And as you know, we do reflect from the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. The topic we're looking at today is don't bury your talent. Don't bury your talent. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, and we are reading from verse 24 to 29. Then you had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. Therefore take the talent from him, and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who does not have, even that which he has will be taken away. A memory verse is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. But these I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. As an individual, we have different commissions and different assignments. The focus of Peter's ministry was different from that of Paul. And there is no sense in comparing yourself with another person. God has given us diverse gifts in his kingdom. Jesus related the story of the talent in our Bible reading today. One man got five talents, another got two, and the other got one. But each person got what they needed to fulfill their purpose and ministry. Anytime you compare yourself with another person, you are setting yourself up for frustration. You need to ask the Lord clearly what he wants for you to do and how to do it. Ask him also to show you the correct yardsticks to use to measure how you are doing in your assignment. We see that the servant who was commended by his master for getting five talents and for making additional five talents as profit, he was told, well done, you good and faithful servant. Let us analyze those words of commendation. He was called a good servant. What made him good was that he did the will of his master. He was given the talents and he used the talents for the purpose for which he was given. Remember that another servant got the same talent and buried it, claiming that his master was one that would like to reap where he had no soul. But by obeying the voice of our master, we can be said to be good servants as well. The Bible says Abraham obeyed God and it was counted for him for righteousness. You find that in Romans chapter 5, uh, chapter 4, I beg your pardon. You look at verse 3 and 33. The servant also was commended for being faithful. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2, that it is expected in a servant that a man be found faithful. Faithfulness is the hallmark of a servant who wants to please his master. This servant was found faithful as he obeyed his master. When we do the will of God, he is always faithful to reward us for our faithfulness in his service. Our prayer point, Father, please help me to sow towards my desired harvest in the name of Jesus. Amen. The good Lord bless you. Please have a wonderful day. Bye for now.